Are we on? Yes, we are. Right. This is Bloor Street in Toronto. All right, that's. I was just uh, here at this church, doing some B-rolls for a documentary that I'm doing. Beautiful night. That's us. But then I blew right over there and decided to. Right on. Film it. Film a walk here on this uh, beautiful night. As got a bed shop here. Sleep country. Look at this. If you ever need to sleep. That's where you go. It's a sleep country. Everybody sleep. Why not? All right. This is Bloor. We're walking east. Uh, no, we're walking west. Yeah. Don't get lost, film mission. Don't get lost. A night walk. It's kind of raining. It's uh, it's about two degrees Celsius, and it's when I left the house, it wasn't raining, and it was much warmer. So I'm not wearing proper gloves again, and I'm wearing leather gloves, and I'm not messed up. So it is what it is. Just like this books and musical video, wow, a bookstore. How cool is that? Hmm. Got all sorts of books, huh? Beautiful. Books are, uh, you know, Amazon came by and back in the back in the day and kind of closed up all the bookstores. You know, Amazon started as a book company, wasn't it? Back in the 90s. Believe it or not, I had some Amazon stocks. I had a whole bunch of them when they opened up. And then uh, <laughs> I had a good friend of mine who was in finance. He said to me, what are you doing buying Amazon stocks? It's like, it's like a waste of company. It's like a stupid company. It's selling books online. Nobody's going to read books, he said. He was right about that. So he said, sell it. Sell it by some high-tech junk. Like uh, Cisco, JDSU. And I was like, are you sure? Andy, <laughs> he's like, yeah. So I sold my uh, my thousands and thousands of Amazon stocks back in the nineties. We could have been uh, super rich, super rich. All right, uh, there's an Amazon story and a book story. Right after that, I'm gonna be telling stories all the way to Jane and Finch. Ah, look at this. Some stores, a few stores that are closed up here, huh? Yeah. Look at this guy. This guy had a huge inside area that had to, was a really perfect place for homeless people to sleep at night. Nice and covered up, nice and safe. So they decided to cover it up. Oh man, is it ever uh, chilly tonight? It's just uh, the gloves. These gloves are not the kind of gloves you want to be. Um, not a bookstore down here. If you want to get, I'm not going to get anything. But I think I'll this guy's going to the bookstore. It's another like a basement. That's a cool, cool bookstore. So I think I, uh, I think I photographed the owner of that bookstore uh, sometime way, way in the past. I don't even remember what happened, but I remember uh, what it was for. I have no idea, but I remember. Uh, Craft Coyote, yeah, I've been here before. This is like a, this is the bar we come in with the with the with the guys, front of fire, friend of the guys. I'm not a big fan of outside bar food and all that kind of stuff, but that place we came and chilled out a few times, good times, hang out uh, after the rally. Uh, I'm not sure how long ago it was, but once or twice. What a blue light! Ooh, must be a police station. Don't do it. Young and uh, Svedina. What's the next stop? Christie or Bathurst? I don't know. Bathurst probably, right? Yeah, Bathurst. A cool alleyway. Let's check out this art. Very nice, very nice. This uh, this kind of uh, person eating all this sandwich. The sandwich is bigger than her. Oh, man. Back streets of uh, Bloor Street. Uh, night walk. What is it today? Thursday? Oh yeah, Thursday, April or something. Third or something. Lee's Palace. Rock and roll place. But there's so many delivery people in there. Oh. Wow. It's packed with delivery people. Do they still play rock and roll here? Probably. Oh, maybe.
Oh, it is a cool place. I filmed it inside of this place uh, one time. Magazine store. This section of the street is very authentic old school shops. Coyote bar there and the bookstores and magazine stores and rock and roll venue. It's kind of a kind of a downtown, how downtown used to be, I guess, huh? Towards Bathurst. There's another alleyway coming up. I wonder if there's good graffiti in there too. Toronto's famous for its alleyways. Tons of alleyways everywhere. Some the, the downtown ones are pretty pretty big and obvious, but once you get to say a little bit north of here, a little bit east and west of here, almost every house behind the Bloor Street is a continuous alleyway that people do use for deliveries or some of the houses got their garages there, right? Like this kind of stuff. Some of them got good art pieces, and sure, and some, some not so much. And this guy's got, I don't know what it is, he's got a yellow thing with a fish coming out of the mountains and having a good time. And what else is here? That's a cool, actually, good, good thumbnail. Yeah. Good thumbnail. Beautiful sky. Anything else here, art-wise? No, we're art critic here. We're doing alleyway art uh, critique. Not much here. And the rest of the cars are covering it. Oh well. Here's some. These guys, I don't know what these guys are doing, but it's not bad, it's not bad. It, it's not easy to make a painting that big, I guess. Unless you have some sort of a cheating apparatus, you know, a lens and that kind of stuff. Most, uh, most of these artists, they have some, this place is sold, wow, somebody bought this place. They're like, hey, we're going to start a business right on Bathurst and Bloor. Most artists had uh, some sort of a cheating apparatus, didn't they? Some, something to copy the face and I, did, I took an art, art school once and we had, uh, we had this big machine that we used to put a picture on. Shoot, cross here, yeah, it's cross here. This is Bathurst. I used to put a picture on and the picture would, you know, throw the picture against us like a slide projector almost. But you could put, instead of just a small slide, you could put like a big magazine cover on it and project the picture on the canvas and we try to draw it. Wow, they built those, uh, those things. That used to be the, the famous Honest Ed's Bathurst and uh, Bloor. Wow. Let's go. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Is the lens getting wet? Probably. I wasn't expecting a pizza pizza. Wow. It was a joke in the city. Back in the good old days when uh, you didn't need a passport to go to the US. Sometimes if they were suspicious of you being, you know, residents of Canada or Toronto when you came to Pearson, they would ask you, what's the name of the famous pizza place? I like this guy if you said pizza pizza 967 uh, something something they're like oh yeah you can come back to the country i don't know if that's true or just uh, anecdotal uh, like a joke but well i remember a time that yeah you could just hop on the bus or a train and just go to the states and you didn't need much of an idea or anything they'll just ask you you guys canadian yeah all right have a nice time wow that was a good old times pre 9 11 right the 9-11 came, you had to have special ID and passports and all sorts of kind of stuff to be safe. To take your shoes off, yeah. Take your shoes off, that's cool. Take your shoes off, can't take your own water. Woo, what a ruckus. What a ruckus, what is that? Oh, look, it's a money truck. Woo -hoo -hoo. It's full of cash. You had to take your shoes off, you could take water, you had to have a passport. You had to tell them where you're going, what time you're coming back, what time you're sleeping, what's your bag. Make sure you don't have any apples, you know. Oh no, no apples are allowed on the plane. No, no, not, not good. And then, uh, yeah, we give up uh, the little freedoms that we had traveling, right? Voluntarily, you know, just to be safe on a plane. And uh, yeah, we were safe on a plane. But now we're safe on a plane, but the doors are falling off the planes and the wheels are coming off. Boeing, I'm not talking to you. Boeing, you remember Boeing, all the incidents? <laughs> well, anyway, so. Yeah, you lose your freedoms when you get scared. When you get scared, 
You give up your freedoms, yeah. Beautiful. Look at these towers, man. Like, I want to know how much water is on this lens. I can't tell. But anyway, so that was like a good old time. Pizza, pizza. Like, it's amazing. You know, you see a pizza, pizza logo, and next thing you know, you're talking about 9/11. How, how the hell did I do that? Jump from that to that. Look. It's a hair saw. Look at these pictures. Let's pick the kind of cool picture. Uh, oh God, that looks like mine actually. That looks like my picture. Yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah. That definitely is mine there, yeah. This guy's a boxing, yeah, that's my picture. Maybe, did I shoot it for these guys or who knows? Sometimes, yeah, I take pictures for clients and then they move from one salon to the other and they take their pictures with them, so I don't, you know. I know I didn't photograph that salon, but who knows, maybe. Yeah, we started talking about, uh, 11. Wow. From pizza, 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 pizza. Wow, my fingers are freezing. God, woo ha, woo hoo. Toronto, why are you getting so cold with me? You're all complaining the winter was. Uh... Hey, this restaurant. Nobody's here. Is it open? Yeah, it is open. It's amazing. Some places are uh, open, some not. This is. Is this the? Yeah, it is. No, no, it's not. Did I come here? No, I didn't. I did a film of... No, I didn't come here. I did a film of uh, shopping around here at one of these uh, uh, corner stores. I guess it's on Christie. Somebody, I don't know who, in the comment section said, Hey, you should go there for vegetables. And I did. Came there and bought some avocados and stuff. It was good. I made a film. Maybe I post that. Like I said, I have... Like, literally, I film everything every day. And then uh, some of them I don't bother making some of them I I keep because I like and some of them I just delete you know so I may delete this you know you get in a boot and you get back you go ah, I don't like it it's boring there's not enough colors in it there's too much colors in it it's like just you know it's just some of them good some of them good I got a uh, the tax day film I guess uh, yesterday or Saturday it was a Monday Monday yeah uh, we posted that and uh, it was showing on live. somebody picked it up on live Tommy Templer had it on live and it was just kind of because on a repeat for a couple of hours showing people and we got a couple of new subs from it which is good thank you Tommy Tommy Templer check out his channel that's that guy does live 24 hours a day he just sits there and it just live streams everybody and helps everybody and it's kind of entertaining if you're sitting back and sometimes you know what I do is certain channels I like to just listen to because they're not very um you know, you don't have to listen very closely, you know, like even like my, like what I'm doing now. You don't have to listen to everything I say. I'm just background noise for you. If you're doing math homework or, you know, you're doing your, you know, accounting homework or something, you know, like you can have me as a background noise in your room. So you're not alone. So that's what I do with uh, Tommy's channel. I keep that and going. Sometimes Ken, yeah, Ken, if you're listening, Ken continue. Sometimes I have him in the background and, you know, because... You know, I mean, you've seen the streets a million times, right? Like, I don't need to see Bloor Street or anything like that. It's more like a podcast, really, right? I mean, if you're watching this channel from, you know, somewhere else, you're like, oh, I wonder what you, what Queen Street looks like, what King Street looks like. But if you're very, very local, you know what this place looks like, right? Yeah, it's a mirror. Look at selfie here, selfie. Look at the mirror, it's a mess. <laughs> I thought I'm going to get a good selfie for myself. Uh, I don't know how to get a selfie. I need a selfie stick. Yeah. That's cool. I like this display. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. We can get... We can be on this guy's film. Look at this. He's got a film. And a, that's a good camera. VHS camera. He's got the video. Look at old school TV. Wow. Oh, look. Very cool. Old school. Old school. What's this place? Medical songs and medical stuff. Make your hair go funny and beauty supplies, I guess. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, here, this is the grocery store that I came, but it's closed. Bloor something market. What is it called? Oh, yeah, Bloor. You can't see. Shining on it, lights shining. Bloor fruit market, this one, right? Yeah, oh, keep the camera down. Oh my god, I went too far up. Yeah, I came here, made a video. It's closed now. It's got graffiti on it and everything, but it was good. It was good. It was a, I like it. I like it. A little bit far from when I go. 
There's Jimi Hendrix up there. Can you see it? Jimmy's on the wall, man. Jimi Hendrix and Elvis. I think that's Elvis. Elvis, yeah. Everybody likes Jimi Hendrix and Elvis. You know, not David Lee Roth. You should put pictures of... I, I've never seen a picture of David Lee Roth anywhere. He should be... He should be up there with Elvis and all that, right? Because it's very Elvis. David, that's a good place. I went there. Whoa. Freezing fingers. David and Roth. One break coming up. With which one? Let's do another one. Somebody answered the shadows in the rain. Hannah, I think she Googled it. Yeah, Google it said shadows in the rain. What a group song sang that. Whatever. It was the police. One break coming up. One break coming up. Which song is that from? One break coming up. That's a, that's a tough one. You can't Google that. Maybe you can. Anyway, hot pot place open 24 hours a day. In case you want a hot pot, nobody's in there. Wait a minute. Those seats look like uh, they do. They look like uh, yeah, they're washroom seats. Huh. How appetizing! Are you kidding me? You got a restaurant and you got your seats to be like a toilet seats? Oh, I don't know. No wonder you're so. No wonder his restaurants empty, man. I can do a cons consult with you and like charge you a thousand bucks an hour and uh, tell you to change your. See, these guys are packed. Change your seats, and you have normal seats like this, and your salon would be packed. What is that? Sixty-nine. I will have a couple of sixty-nine and a fifteen, and a nine to go. <laughs> Which album is that from? <laughs> oh my God, we should do a music channel. We should do the whole music quiz. See who's rock and roll enough to be hanging out with the film mission and the crew. Don't back up, don't back up, don't back up. All right, where are we? Where is the next station? Next station is Christie. So maybe we walk to Christie and we'll look down here too. I was like, it's like a gambling place or something. Yeah, lots of junk here. 24 hour restaurant up there. We're approaching Christie Station. Christie Station, anybody wants to? What the hell kind of outfits are these? Seriously. Blue pants with black crosses, yellow tie dye, with a blue funky hat. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hope that shit doesn't come in style. We're screwed, man, because I can't. I can't pull that off. No way I can pull that kind of crazy funky stuff off. No way. All right, pet supplies. All right, enough. All right, hurry up, let's go. My fingers are getting cold. Where is this Christy? Where is this Christy? I'm looking for Christy. Christy, baby, where are you? Right here. Right here, right now. Good, 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 good. All right, I'm gonna end the film here, jump on the subway. If it's something exciting, somebody's gonna probably break down again and I film it. Happens routinely with me, which is fantastic. Because it gives me an opportunity to film cool stuff. The subway breakdown channel, looks like. Let's check out this uh, monster here. It's a tiger or something. I wanted to come and check it a long time ago. Anyway, so here we are. Here's Christy. I'm going to film this tiger. It's very nice. And then uh, I'll jump on the subway and see what else I can catch. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, thanks for watching. Film mission. On this beautiful rainy Thursday in a city, 2 degrees Celsius. Amazing. I'll talk to you later.